קל שבאז, שלום. My name is Madar Timor. My name is Tal Eyal. And we are missing the third part, Professor Nitz Smook, who could not be here with us. We are the curators of the exhibition here. We would like to welcome you to visit us. Uh, we're now entering uh, the exhibition, uh, Tel Aviv's Modern Movement. The exhibition uh, was, uh, was founded uh, 10 years ago as part of the declaration by UNESCO of the white city of Tel Aviv as a World Heritage Site. We have now reopened, uh, renewed this uh, exhibition in uh, what is called the Levant Fair and have combined uh, some of the historic aspects of this area. Basically, the exhibition was translated to uh, four languages and has been traveled to 11 locations around the world. Um, the exhibition here is kind of a closure because we're coming back to an old uh, historic um, space called the Levant Fair. Uh, the picture behind us is the picture from the opening of uh, the 36th uh, exhibition, but actually it was founded at 34 here and it was a very big success. There were about 600,000 people coming to uh, visit the exhibition that were three times uh, more of the uh, population uh, in Israel at the time. Um, the uh, Levant Fair was um, um, a great project and it was uh, erected uh, by very famous and uh, well-known architects in the modern movement style as uh, it was um, very common in that period in Israel. Um, please. Um, you can see the uh, Levant Fair uh, plan, ground plan uh, of the end. Here is the entrance where is now the end of Dizengoff Street uh, heading north. That was the um, Tutseret Haaretz, the uh, main uh, um, building that was designed by the uh, architect uh, Richard Kaufman and you can see here a three-dimensional uh, perspective of uh, his idea of how the building uh, should uh, be. The building was um, uh, mainly destroyed and uh, today only the annex, uh, this annex, is still uh, on the ground and uh, we hope and we do effort in order to um, um, reconstruct the uh, original uh, building. <coughs> Here are a section and um, um, facades and you can see also other plans that we found in the uh, municipality of Tel Aviv archive of this building that we are in, that was originally the, um, the building of the uh, Norwegian um, um, state and became in 36 the uh, woman uh, building. We, this section is a part that we extended from the original um, a exhibition in order to uh, honor the uh, this site and you can see here all kinds of different buildings and, uh, um, <coughs> and interiors of the um, um, building exhibition. This is the stadium that was designed by Genia Averbuch, a well-known architect that also designed the um, Dizengoff Square, the round Dizengoff Square, as everybody, I suppose, know. Uh, this building as well, that was uh, very famous, Cafe Galina, was also designed by her. 
uh, we can see uh, the entrance now with less people uh, coming in and we can see the um, uh, Armon Tocerit Haaretz. This is um, what uh, is uh, later was known as the uh, uh, Glida Montana, the Montana ice cream for many, many years. Um, what can we... This is the, um, the woman's... Uh, this is where we are now. Exactly, where we are now. This uh, is the Belgic, uh, it still, uh, it still uh, exists on ground. Uh, many other buildings, as I said before, are not longer, not longer exist. Uh, here you can see a kind of um, um, explanation and uh, um, an aerial photo of the uh, exhibition ground. And what became, uh, after a few years, the, um, the major power plant uh, of uh, Tel Aviv, Reading. Um, we kindly received this uh, model uh, from the architect Yoram Raz, who, um, with the, um, the effort of the... Uh, uh, Anyway, they, they reconstructed, they, they remodeled the, the, uh, the, 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 whole original, the original plans of this area. According to the original plans they found in the municipality, what uh, we can see here is a few aerial photos that um, show the um, exhibition ground in different uh, periods of time. And what is very strongly um, uh, seen is the means of transportation that was really... The camels. Yes, very uh, well Here known also. these years. Uh, the camels uh, walking back and forth north to south, um, carrying uh, stuff. This is the Yarkon River. Uh, and here you can see in 34 the... Um, what is going to be the uh, reading power plant in three years is not yet uh, found. Uh, here, the, the exhibition is basically divided into three main sections, and uh, uh, this, uh, what you see here, is basically a film that uh, is giving the evolution of the hundred, uh, the last hundred years of uh, more than hundred years of Tel Aviv. Then uh, you will have the uh, evolution of the, what we call the, the local language, the architectural local language of uh, Tel Aviv, the urban section, and the historic section. This is uh, a contemporary aerial photo, from which is showing the white city uh, of Tel Aviv. Uh, we, uh, we tried, um, th this exhibition is a bit different from the exhibition traveling around the world uh, in a way that first we tried to uh, make it more central to the um, people coming to visit here. To understand it, to, to be more, uh, I would say, more to the public to understand and not just for the professionals uh, to realize the architectural uh, treasures of uh, Tel Aviv. And so, so we try to give an, uh, a feeling of the city of Tel Aviv and um, apart from all the images, the films, uh, we tried also to bring in the sea and the, the sun and, and the look and, exactly, the look and feel of, of the city. city. Um, we cannot ignore the seashore and uh, the uh, eclectic uh, feeling of, uh, of the city. We, we have a recent uh, photograph of uh, Shahar Muzikant who joined us to, to the traveling uh, exhibition and uh, these are details of the uh, of 
part of the um, buildings uh, for conservation in Tel Aviv. It shows the city undertones uh, in the details. And uh, here we see uh, the details of the city, we see the major uh, influence, the European influence uh, that you see in the city. Here we have, uh, here you have the three types of buildings that you can see uh, the break the break of the architecture in a three-dimensional uh, animation. This is based on original plans of the building. This, for example, is the first building on Pilotini in Tel Aviv, in Rothschild Boulevard, number 84. It was designed by Resta, and uh, it, uh, it's a symbol for the, uh, the change of uh, the um, a building types of building from the mid-30s ongoing in the city. What we saw earlier was uh, the um, a teasing of uh, square here on the left that we mentioned before that was designed by the same architect that did the stadium and the Fegalina Genia Abraham. You can see the influence, you can see the influence of, uh, of Mendelssohn, you can see the influence of the Corbusier. As you will go around, you can see the uh, influence of the European uh, architects on our local land. Here well, it is a city of balconies. You can see the all types of balconies here in this uh, grid that you can see here. And you can see the renovations of the new uh, conservation that Tel Aviv is going through. Mm -hmm. uh, this is the type of the Tel Aviv street. And uh, what we, uh, we want to finish with is uh, with the, uh, an explanation about the conservation plan of Tel Aviv and the person that was uh, we owe him a great deal, Sir Patrick Geddes, who was the um, designer of the northern part of Tel Aviv um, the, um, in a model of a, a garden city that um, actually uh, designed blocks, like small blocks and uh, infrastructures in them, and in, like small gardens or uh, a, any uh, a building for the community that serve the same small uh, neighborhood. And this uh, layout of Geddes still exists in the city. What we wanted uh, to show on the uh, aerial photo is the infrastructure and the greenery that uh, uh, this plan uh, succeeded to, uh, to bring to the very city. Well today. Uh, this exhibition will be open until the end of the month, until the 27th of June, and uh, we invite all of you to come and enjoy show the and each one can find his uh, its uh, interest and i think you'll have a great time thank you, thank you. bye